Storm damage, uh, hail damage, scammers are often right behind these storms. A Better Business Bureau warning of scammers after these storms, some things to do. Do your homework before uh, you make any kind of a payment. Investigator Brandon Stitt has some tips because we have seen this before, Brandon, as storms move through if you do need repairs, Brandon. Yeah, that's right, Mike. We see it every time a big storm rolls through and causes any type of damage. As soon as the storm moves out, roofing contractors are right behind it. Many of those are reputable companies who are in good standing with the city and the state. But there are a few bad actors, those companies that come out of state oftentimes posing as local companies. I want you to take a look. This is some of the hail that I drove through earlier tonight at 53rd and Broadway. And here's some other shots. This is out of the Anthony area in Harper County. Some of my family actually sent some of these sh shots for us. Now, if you think you had hail damage from tonight's storms, keep your guard up and make sure you ask questions. There is an entire subset of contractors and outright scammers who are monitoring weather forecasts in the hopes that uh, natural disasters do occur so they can swoop in and pretend as though they are uh, the saving angel ready to provide uh, that much needed assistance for those who are in particularly vulnerable situations. And here are some of those pointers. If you do have damage, make sure you get multiple bids and work with a reputable Kansas company. Be aware, out-of-state companies uh, might pose as local companies, and some will even use local numbers or fake local addresses. And don't fall for high-pressure sales tactics and check the roofer registry. Take your time and work with your insurance company. We'll make sure we have all of this information, including that roofer registry, on our KWCH News app. Mike.